There's going to be fear. There's going to be things you're afraid of. And I'm just going to make this one really simple. Turn your fear into dua. Turn your anxieties into dua. Meaning, I'm scared of something. I'm terrified that XYZ is going to happen. Everyone has fears, right? Now, how do we typically deal with fear? What we typically do with fear is we feed it. How do we feed fear? By just thinking about it. And then all these scenarios come, right? I'm afraid of um, something happening to someone I love. So what I do is I think of all the different possible ways that something could happen to someone I love. I think of this scenario and that scenario. All I've done is I'm feeding the fear. I haven't actually solved anything. Instead of feeding fear, turn it into dua. That thing that you're afraid of, make dua about it. Simple as that. Immediately stop it, stop the thought, and then stop the thought, and then turn and focus that feeling of fear and anxiety into making dua. Ask Allah for protection. And then after you've done that, put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I've given it to Allah. And don't keep feeding that fear. Um, and, I, and this is something I emphasize a lot and I will emphasize again, what you focus on grows. So whatever you focus on in your life is going to actually start to grow. And when it grows, it starts to become bigger and it also starts to surround you. When uh, Musa alayhi salam is standing in front of the Red Sea, right? And he has an army behind him. And he's got a very serious problem, okay? He's got a giant body of water in front of him, and he's got an army behind him, and he looks trapped. But what was his focal point in that moment? Anyone? Allah. Do you see the difference? It's not that he was in denial of his reality. His reality was that he's got an army behind him, and he's got a uh, Red Sea in front of him. But he was, his focus was not on the Red Sea and his focus was not on the army. And in fact, you see the contrast between him and Bani Israel. Because Bani Israel were focused on the army. They fell into despair. And the reason they fell into despair, it was because of their focus. Make sense? Inna la mudrakun, they said. And then Allah says, tells us what Musa salam says. Qala kalla. You see like a complete contrast. Qala kalla. He said no. And kalla in Arabic is a very emphatic, no way, absolutely not. It's all of that in just one word. Kalla. Inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdeen. Indeed, my Lord is with me and he will guide me through. Musa alayhi salam wasn't looking at the problem. He was aware of the problem, folks. He's not like in denial. He's aware of the problem, but his focus wasn't the problem. His focus was Allah. Do you see the difference? His focus was Allah. And he said, Inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdeen. Indeed, my Lord is with me and he will guide me through this. He will get me through this. So no matter how dark it gets outside, or no matter how much we feel like things are closing in on us, if our, focus is, if our focal point is Allah, then we don't feel despair. Do you see the difference? It's because you know, just like Musa salam knew, that Allah was with him. And if Allah is with you, it means what? He'll get you through. And that was the yaqeen and the tawakkul and the, the trust of Musa salam. But believe me, it cannot happen unless you have the right focus.